you know, I caught a couple of those things, but I ended up throwing it away because I couldn't figure out how to clean it. So we decided we're going to do a little segment on cleaning a triple tail. And there's a few little tricks, but they're basically just another fish. So we're going to start out like we would any other fish and run right up the side of the backbone. One of the little tricks, I think they're such a tall, flat fish, works on many other fish, but it works especially well with triple tail. If you'll leave the meat on after you get it separated from the backbone, flip it over and do the same thing to the other side, you'll notice that this fish is laying flat, nice and flat and even, where you're not trying to flay on an angle. One of the things about a triple tail, the scales are real tight and dense and hard to get under. A lot of people try to go after it like this. You have to treat this a little more like a redfish. Instead of cutting across it, you want to slide underneath the scales and then kind of cut in a row with them, with your knife at an angle where it slides underneath them. See, there was very little resistance there as opposed to trying to hack through them straight up and down. All right, once so we got this side separated, we get to the backbone. We can grab hold of the body of the fish. I, most of the time I like to do it with a flay knife so it gets a better grip. You can slide your hand in by the rib cage and just pop upwards. Rib cage pops off nice and neat. We have a nice triple tail fillet that will skin off. Let's go ahead and set this one to the side and I'll show you the neatest trick to keep cleaning triple tail. Typically when you flay a fish and you want to skin the fish, you start tail and work towards where the head came loose. With a triple tail, the way their scales are, if you do that, you end up chasing your fillet across the table because they slide. I've found if you take the triple tail fillet and spin it around and start at the head, it does the opposite. It grips. It wants to bite down and grab that fillet table and not slide. So that simple little twist makes filleting much simpler. Triple tail, redfish, most of your saltwater species will have a small line right here. You can feel them with your finger. If you run your finger down them, you'll feel the little bumps where the bones are sitting. You can run your knife right down those. It tells you exactly where the rib cage is. Flip over, pick it up on this side. Follow the rib cage out. The rib cage is so thin we haven't lost any meat, but now we have a 100% deboned fillet.